Well, we're looking at uh, solving linear equations in this critical review four section. And uh, <clears throat> I like the commentary that I have here in the notes. Solving equations like discovering the answer to a puzzle, right? We're trying to find the value that makes each the statement true. And here's a couple of uh, uh, properties um, of equality, right? If you have, if uh, A equals B, for example, 7 equals 7, then, of course, if you subtract 2 from one side, you got to subtract 2 from the other side to keep these equal, right? Same thing for addition. If uh, 3 equals 3 and you add 1 to both sides, one side, you got to add 1 to the other side as well, right? Well, let's go ahead and solve this equation. We're going to solve for y here. So we're trying to isolate y, and we're going to do the opposite of plus 5 because we want to get rid of that plus 5. So we're going to subtract 5 on both sides. So we have 7 minus 5 is 2. And if you notice, if you check it in the original, we know that two, y is 2, right? That's the only thing that will make this true. 7 does equal 7. All right, let's go ahead and solve for m on this one, right? We're trying to isolate m. So we're going to do the opposite of subtracting 7. So we're going to add 7 to both sides and it looks like we have 11 is equal to m m equals 11 of course you can check it in the original if m is 11 is it true and you say sure it is all right why don't i have you guys why don't you guys try some of these let me pause it right here we have good work go ahead check yourself here I would actually subtract 61 here, and then I only have one step on that. And then finally, awesome. All right, let's do, well, now let's do some multiplication division here for single step equations. So right here we've got negative 3y equals 21. Again, we're trying to isolate the y. And right now the operation is multiplication, right? We're multiplying negative 3 and y. So we're going to do the opposite of multiplication. We're going to use division to get rid of that because we know negative 3 over negative 3 is a 1y. 21 over negative 3 is negative 7. So y, 1y is the same as y. y is negative 7. Of course, you can check that by plugging it into the original and seeing if it's true, and sure enough, it is true, right? Let's go ahead and do similarly for this one. So negative 72 equals negative 8x divided by negative 8. Both sides, I got 1x. Negative 72 over negative 8 is a 9. So x equals 9. You can go ahead and check that as well. Here we're going to uh, divide by 18, both sides. 18 over 18 is a 1m. So m equals 0 divided by anything is 0. All right. Here we got negative 14. D equals 56. What are you guys going to do? Go ahead and just uh, punch it into the chat there. What you would do. Number one, what is your step? And number two, what is your solution? Dividing by negative 14 on both sides gives us a negative 4. All right, how about this one? Now we have a is being divided by negative 4 equals negative 28. So we're dividing by negative 4. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the opposite of division. We're going to multiply this side by negative 4. If I multiply that side by negative 4, I'm going to multiply the other side by negative 4. So right now, notice we have negative 4a over negative 4, which is 1a. Right? That's why we multiplied both sides by negative 4. And negative 28 times negative 4 gives us a positive 112. All right, so now let's put these two together. Let's do multi-step by isolating x. So the first thing is um, <clears throat> when you got 4x minus 9 equals 3. And one time I've had this explained to me, if this is... This is you, you're throwing a party, your girlfriend is stuck to you, and this nine is your friend. Who are you going to get rid of first? Well, you, before your parents get home, right? Your parents get to get home at midnight. You got to make sure the party's cleared out before your parents get home. Who are you going to get rid of first? 
Now you get rid of the friend first. The last person you're going to get rid of is that girlfriend. So x equals 3 would make that true. That's one way you can think, or maybe that'll help you remember that. So here, the first thing I'm going to get rid of is a friend. So minus 40, both sides. So negative 36 is negative 9x. And then we'll go ahead and divide out, get rid of the girlfriend there. So 1x equals 4. x equals 4. All right, why don't you guys try that one. 2x minus 7 equals negative 17. Let's go ahead and check yourself on that. All right, let's keep going here. Notice this one's got some y's on the left, it's got some y's on the right. I'm going to go ahead and gather all my y's on one side, all my like terms. So let me subtract the 15y from both sides. 10y minus 15y is a negative 5y. I still have minus 8 equals 12. Now I'm going to get rid of that minus 8. So I got negative 5y equals 20. Now I'm going to divide by negative 5. So we got negative 4 on that. Uh, similarly here, except notice these are both like terms on the same side. So 1k minus 7k, 1 banana minus 7 bananas, negative 6 bananas or carrots or whatever, right? They're like terms. I can combine those. Now I'm going to get all my k's on one side. Let me subtract the 3k and take it over to the right-hand side. And then finally, let's go ahead and get rid of that negative 9. So we've got k equals 6 on that. Any, any issues so far? All right, why don't you uh, type into the chat. Go ahead and work that on your paper and uh, type it into the chat there. Go ahead and check yourself. Now let's go ahead and let's use the distributive property here. So we've got 4 times w is 4w plus 4 times that negative 3. So 4w, 4 times negative 3 minus 12 equals negative 12. Now let's get rid of the minus 12 by adding 12 both sides. So we have 4w equals 0. Divide both sides by 4. Well, 0 divided by anything is just 0. So 0 is what makes that true. Let's go ahead and distribute it right here. 7 times 4 is 28. Oops, equals negative 21. Now I'm going to subtract 28 on both sides. We've got negative 49 divided by 7. And we've got negative 7. All right, you guys go ahead and try that one. Check yourself there with that uh, solution. All right, let's keep going there. And uh, let's distribute. Now we've got some more multi-steps here. 4c, 4 times negative 6 and minus 24, plus 3 equals 5, plus c minus 14. Notice on this side I can combine those like terms. Over here I got 5 minus 14, so I have a c minus 9. And now let's get all our c's on one side. So 4c minus 1c is a 3c minus 21 equals negative 9. Now let's add 21. So I got negative 9 plus 21 gives us, uh, was that 12? And then let's divide by 3 on both sides. And then we're all done. All right. I'm going to have you guys try these three right here. Check yourself on the first two, pause it if you need to, and let's go ahead and get into this last one here. Negative 20p, negative 4 times negative 4 minus 16. Distribute here. And go ahead and combine those. What's that? 40, negative 43. Let me get all my p's on one side. Let's do it on the well, let's do it on the left side again. We add 43. 
that's that 52. And now finally, let me go ahead and divide by negative 26 on both sides. And P ends up being negative 2. All right, I think that's enough to get you guys started. That's the end of this lecture for CR4.